it should be irrelevant. Thank you. Thank you. As I said, the question is the motion be agreed to. I give the call to member for Macquarie. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I got to hang out with a bunch of four and five year olds just before Christmas at the graduation of students from the Euroka Children's Centre, a not for profit community based long daycare centre in the Blue Mountains that's been operating since 1985. We were outside in their play area, which we as a government have committed $20,000 to to help with improvements in the play space. And their plan is for things like slides, a rock wall, and scramble nets. Now, it's too easy to dismiss the idea of play areas as a secondary thing in education, as something that's simply a respite from learning, whereas some of the most important lessons young children can learn, and I would argue all children, happen in the playground. Learning to share, learning to take turns, learning to respond appropriately to those social cues that can mean the difference between an easier or harder journey as an adult, not to mention the physical skills development that occurs, the managing of fear and excitement and a thousand and one other emotions and skills. So it's no surprise to me that parents who have watched their children develop under the care of the Euroka team cheered to know that even though their children might not benefit, future kids would. But their biggest applause was when I mentioned the Albanese government's commitment to making early childhood education and care more affordable for families. I thank the member for Fowler for raising this important issue, a game changer for families and for our economy. And of course, we know our landmark reforms are only possible if we retain, recruit and train a high quality workforce and we have a plan to do exactly that. I want early childhood educators in my electorate of Macquarie, the Blue Mountains and the Hawkesbury to know that I appreciate the pressures that you're facing, your workload, and as a government, we value the vital role you play, which can shape a child's future. Our plan to support early educators, the directors of preschools and long daycare centres and the parents who rely on them begins with recognising the professionalisation of this workforce, recognition that they are educators, not childminders, recognition that they are highly trained experts, recognition of the need for significant career pathways and recognition that all these things have been ignored by a decade of neglect and inaction from previous Liberal governments. We know changes are needed. We've committed to working with early educators, the sector and unions to overcome the long-term issues like the persistent challenges to attract and retain staff and the huge gaps that mean people in regional areas, including mine, cannot access early childhood education and care when they need it or as much as they need it. Both the Hawkesbury and Blue Mountains have been identified as having serious shortages of places. The contrast between our approach to these issues and the Liberals while in government is stark. They ignored, denied, minimised and did as little as possible to address the really pressing issues. By contrast, we take these issues seriously and look to have responses that mean we don't have to revisit the same issue every few years because we aim for a longer term sustainable response. Tackling childcare costs is a fundamental way to reduce the cost of living pressures that families are facing. It will make early childhood education more affordable for 1.2 million families. Now, 75 per cent of those families earn less than $180,000 a year and around 50 per cent earn less than $120,000 a year. The costs of childcare for these families are a big chunk of their pay packet and this will help. What's more, it means that people who couldn't look for work because of the prohibitive costs of child, early childhood education and care will now have more choices. Last year, 73,000 people who wanted to work didn't look just for that reason. And that means that while this is about families with young children, it's also about the skills shortage and the local businesses in my community who can't find people to work. So attracting new workers to the early childhood sector is essential for all this to happen. We know that the shortages can't, in the short term, be filled through the domestic market. So we've looked to migration to help ease the shortages by expanding the migration program to 35,000 places, prioritising visa processing times for qualified teachers, including early childhood teachers. 
In partnership with the states, we're delivering 180,000 fee-free TAFE and vocational places, and that includes 10,000 right now for early childhood studies in New South Wales. That's the start, and we know there's more that we'll do.